What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the third episode of the prep series so far. I just got back from the gym wearing the new um, Tahira Black KB leggings that I showed you guys that I had ordered in the last vlog. And I'm also going to eat my overnight oats that I also showed you guys in my last vlog, which was last night. Um, see how they're looking. Still a little bit watery, but once I mix it in, it should be okay. I am going to eat this and start getting into some work. Oh yeah, no, that's actually really good. Seriously, you guys need to make overnight oats if you have not. Highly recommend. I'm going to eat this. This is actually my first meal of the day. I ideally would have wanted to eat this before I was training, but it did not happen. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat this and go get into some work. All right, so meal two of the day is just chicken and rice. I just finished up a meeting with Haley, who actually edits these videos, so shout out to her. Uh, but we've got a few exciting things coming up. Can't wait to announce with you guys, but yeah, I'm just gonna eat this meal and then get into some more online check-ins. So just did some work, walked on the treadmill for 50 minutes. Perks of having a treadmill at home, especially when the weather's not too great outside. And then I'm just doing up some meal prep um, so, I'm about to make some overnight oats. I ate tuna and rice for dinner. Apple, having, about to eat that now. Also just cut up some for tomorrow. I'm also going to cook some chicken and rice. Some chicken and then also some chicken and sweet potato. I think they're done now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat this apple. Meal prep done. Weird containers to meal prep in, but literally just chicken, potato, chicken. And I'm going to add rice, but I'm not going to add it yet. I'll see what my macros are and then change it as needed. Overnight oats, one for tomorrow, one for the next day. Okay, guys, it's been two days since I last vlog. Sorry for not keeping you guys updated, but honestly, nothing really exciting has been happening. However, I had my check-in with my coach yesterday. Um, so calories got lowered, cardio got implemented, and um, yeah, that's it. Decent drop in um, calories and cardio. Obviously, skin folds were down a bit, but probably want them to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I'm always vlog really quick, actually, <laughs> really close. Need to go away from the camera a little bit, but I'm off to the gym now um, and I'm going to go train legs. Let's go. What is going on, guys? I am the worst vlogger this video, so I do apologize. However, um, it's I haven't vlogged since Friday and today is Tuesday afternoon, but I literally have done nothing except for doing the same thing every single day that you guys have already seen, which is eating, training, and working literally just sitting at my laptop all day doing programs um i have one more program i need to do today it's 4 30 at the moment um but i am also going to go to the gym again because i just want to do some more cardio some more steps and i would just like to be at the gym because i want to do some more abs but yeah i was just gonna want to kind of talk about my weight at the moment so um what's been happening with my scale weight so we are slowly going down basically my heaviest weight was 62.4 um of this off season and then my weight this morning i had a low weigh-in down to 60.9 um which is pretty cool i want to average kind of half a kilo a week and just see how we run with that but obviously when i am lighter weight seeing a drop of like 200 grams is going to be pretty noticeable on my frame um but that's kind of the goal for what i'm wanting to achieve um so yeah that's kind of that um and i'm basically going to do one more program and then go to the gym Hopefully traffic is not too bad. Traffic has been so bad lately here on the Gold Coast. If you live here, it's only getting worse. I'd snow because literally everyone is moving here. I'm also going to get um, take off my lash extensions as well. Um, like 
I do love my lash extensions and I'm not the same without them. But like I literally just sit at this desk all day. And yes, like I know you get things done for yourself, but like I don't I don't get them done for myself enough to just like like I don't even get to see them because I don't even look at the mirror. Like I literally just like look like this while I work. And yeah, so I honestly just don't really find that like I need them. If I had like a job where I was like out seeing people and I wanted to be more presentable, then I would keep getting them. But I just feel like there's no point because the only place I go to is the gym and like I'm not there to impress anybody. I'm there. I'm a mess. I don't put on makeup. Just let the skin be how it does. Um, and yeah, like I'm not trying to impress anyone there. So I'm just going to get off my lashes and just rock the natural lash look which honestly once you get used to it it's not that bad it's crazy as well i had a memory come up on my instagram and facebook the other day that it has been four years since my second competition which means it's been nearly five years from my first competition so i'm waiting for that memory to come up i think it will come up in 10 days from now from my first show which will be a pretty huge show back and it is crazy that it has been five years um and i feel like i've just been doing this for so long um as well like all i've ever known basically um but i'm excited to get on stage this time and just really rock it and bring my best package ever especially because you know, it's been so long since I've competed and to be able to show the progress that I have made. And of course I can still compete in the 23 and under category, which is awesome. And I don't think I can do novice. I have to compete in open still. Um, Cause I couldn't do novice last year. Um, sorry, last time I competed, which was four years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'll be able to do 23 and under, which is awesome because I do have that stage experience and I am really confident on stage. Um, and I've had years of posing practice and literally going through so many bulk and cutting faces. I feel like I'm at a really good point physique wise for a junior. And I know I've only got so much further in this industry to go and I know I'm still only getting started and... Um, yeah, like I'm really excited. I know I'll do pretty damn well in ICN, um, but IFBB, kind of just getting my feet wet with that federation. Obviously, that's a whole nother step up, and that's like literally like the best of the best. Like there's not a federation that hops IFBB because that is just the biggest globally known federation that's out there. That's where you can compete with the Olympia, which is the biggest bodybuilding event in the world. Like not even WBFF is as big as that. It's nowhere near as big as the Olympia. Um, so it'd be pretty epic. And obviously the standard is so much higher. The conditioning is so much higher. You look at the world champion for WBFF first, uh, IFBB world champion. And there's a huge difference there in competitors in terms of their body fat percentage in terms of muscle mass in terms of that x frame um which i definitely appreciate and that's kind of the direction i want to take my physique personally as a natural competitor um but yeah i'm excited to do icn as well because obviously i am natural and i just don't have that muscle maturity like any other competitor who was like 30 who's been training for the amount of time that I have been training and works as hard as what I work so which is kind of annoying so I think it's just going to come with time in terms of my competing plans and whatnot is just time and an, very much an age thing as well obviously I am still so young and competing so long so young I still feel like I don't look like I've hit puberty <laughs> in a way um but like that's okay like i this off season was the best off season i've ever had i've gained the most muscle noticeable muscle that i have and i honestly just think even like i haven't worked any harder than what i have any other off seasons like i feel like i've always just maintained how hard i have worked every single off season every single prep but i've really seen changes this off season just because i feel like i am that bit older um but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts recently. I've also just started reading this. Whoa. 
started reading this book. I don't know if I've showed you guys yet. I just got it on from Amazon, just like I like I've shown you oh, showed you this book before. Excuse that bruise, that's from Paul. Um, which is an awesome book if you guys haven't read that. Um about the pill which was a really interesting read obviously it's like a bit of a knowledge kind of thing um but i've just started reading this which is awesome to focus on and read while you're on prep and having that champion kind of mindset but enough talking and rambling from me i'm gonna get myself to the gym to do some abs and cardio because abs are my weak point so time to bring those up because I have no abdominal muscles and when I get lean, I just don't want to look skinny fat. So let's go. Just ordered some new com peels. Exciting. Good morning, you guys. So it's Monday morning, 8.30 a.m. I am about to go for a walk, but first, I am going to do some vacuums. My tummy is rumbling. Oh my god. I need to do some skincare real quick. Letting my eyelashes fall out, by the way. Posting just knocked on the door. Got a parcel. Guess what it is? So, I ordered some monsters of. Amazon, which is major key because I was doing this my last prep. Um, I didn't plan on ordering lots of sterling to prep, but I'm hungry and there are no calories, so I got them on a subscription because it's cheaper. I, in my last prep, I was getting the orange ones every four weeks um, delivered, but they discontinued the orange ones. Um, and then I was looking at the pink ones as well, but they didn't have them as a subscription. So I got the green ones, which I like. So they're only going to come every six weeks, but I just got a gift card for Amazon, um, from, I don't know if you guys know that website called Honey, where you get like discount codes, but I have a gift card, a $30 gift card from that. So I'm going to buy some pink ones as well, which is pretty cool. Um... But what else? I'm going to do some vacuums in the mirror laying down because I need to get better at those. Because honestly, my vacuums are okay, but they sh like, they're not at the level as where they should be. Um, so I need to work on those. But for now, I am doing some skincare. I've just cleansed my skin. And then just putting on this toner, which I showed you guys in my last video. Or like the wick in a way one that I brought. It's like a $80 one. And you just drag it. But my skin's starting to get better. I put a um, tan on for the first time on Saturday night. And I don't know, I like it. I think it's starting to grow on me now. But at first, on Sunday, I was like, mm, no, I don't really like it. Because I haven't tanned in months. And normally I'm like, I have to have a tan. But I think because I've gotten so used to not having one, where I'm like, it's kind of weird to have one now and it smells like chicken nuggets and I just know that it's going to fade patchy and yeah, I know. and I don't like the whole face to tan thing, which I know you can tan your face and I've got the facial drops, but they are just so bad for your skin. Um, cool. And then I'm going to put on this is the daily sunscreen slash moisturizer that I use. I brought it from Injectable Effects. I can't remember how much I paid because I bought it in bulk with a few other things. Um, but I just, I just went everywhere. Sunscreen, friends, is super important. You can get all the Botox you want, but if you're not using sunscreen, you're gonna age very badly. And it's starting to it's nearly empty that bottle actually, so I need to buy myself some more. I'm thinking about getting my lips done again. I don't need them done, but it is a good feeling to get them done. I have no idea how far into this vlog I am. I don't know if I'm like five minutes into this vlog. I don't know if it's like we're in 15 minutes. This vlog, I've been so scattered, but 
literally nothing has been going on that I need to like update you guys on. Um, I haven't been seeing Isaac much because he does Uber now. Um, but I saw him yesterday, which was good. We went to Movie World. I posted that on my story, which was fun. We were just there for like a little bit. It's a good way to get steps in. Um, but it was good to spend time together. And it's, yeah, I've just been going to the gym every day. Obviously, getting in my sessions, posing. I had, like, I had posing every Saturday with Steph for IPB posing, which is exciting. But, yeah. That's kind of it. My lash is, like, half worn out, but I'm going to do some vacuums. Go for a walk and reply to client messages. Um, and then when I get home, I'll actually sit down reply to check-ins but 36 messages overnight um from my clients and then yeah i'll actually reply to check-ins when i get back and then i'll go actually train later on in the day um do you guys like seeing training videos let me know because i can film them but i just feel like like realistically they're all the same workout all the time anyway so it's not too exciting but I am going to get into it. I will speak to you guys when the next exciting thing happens. Guys, check out what just came. You posing heels. Literally my third pair. Um, excuse the <laughs> sports bra. Well, grandma top, I should say. Let me just open this and show you guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your order. All right, so we've got some new posing heels. These ones are for IFEB. Steph recommended I got some, get some new ones. So these are my third ever pair. So these are the heels. They're pretty similar to the last ones I've had, but these are just like the updated versions. Um, and then my blings ones I'm wearing for ICN. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I will be posing my heart out in these today. Just made one of these bad boys. Literally prep lifesaver. These are the Jara hot chocolates. They're like 50 cows or something. 47. 47 calories, like 6 grams of carbs. Just mix it with hot water. You don't even need any milk and it still tastes so good. So it's night time and I'm just making my infamous pizza recipe with these wraps. I used to make these a lot in my old prep. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I make them. So what I do is I fold, because the bases are super thin, I have two of them because they're only 72 calories, I fold them, put them in the oven for like five minutes just so they firm up a little bit. All right, so once they're out of the oven, chuck your pizza sauce on. This is the best macro-friendly one that I've found. It is, for the amount that I put on there is only 35 cows. 77 grams just quite a bit and that includes a little bit on the inside as well so you didn't even need that much but five grams of cops nice and then add some ham i just use the coles english ham and then i just cut it up so 100 grams there so it's 100 it's one packet best macro friendly cheese i can find and what else do i chuck on some chicken here which i'll obviously weigh that all out and pop on so now that they are on, I'm just adding on some spices. I'm adding mixed herb and oregano. This makes the pizza. I didn't end up using all that chicken, by the way. I only used 113 grams. So I'm going to chuck these ones on and she can go in the oven. So this is what she looks like. She was only in the oven for like 10-15 minutes, if that, and then I just chucked some of this barbecue sauce on. So the macros, there's like 600 cows in this for both of them, which is pretty damn good. Time to eat. Okay guys, I'm actually going to close off this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm not sure how long this vlog is, so I hope it's actually above five minutes, but um, I'm just, it's a Saturday today and I'm just spending the day literally working and I've got a posing lesson at 1.30 um, and then I'm going to train and that's my day. Um, but I'm going to close off this video guys, you guys here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.